train has this thing and then the chain is kind of like going like this and so like what happens is the it's quite sexual actually Hey guys, welcome to Rob's Rise. This is Robert, keeping it 100 with all things amusement. And if you're watching this, you're probably disowned. Today we're gonna talk about how chain lifts work. I'd personally rather talk about how chain smokers work, but um, let's keep it on amusement. Chain lift is, of course, the most popular type of lift. Basically, a chain on a motor lifting up the train up the lift hill so it can get all the way up to the top and then gravity will just take over. I was riding Fahrenheit at Hershey Park and then like this family started singing a birthday song so you know I was I guess it was somebody's birthday but I was just assuming it was because they had two chains at the bottom of this train it has this thing like kind of like a stick that's called a catch or in other words a chain dog no relation to Snoop I don't want to flip the finger anymore it just looks so dirty let's just say if the chain were a disease the dog would have caught it. There's this electric motor at the base of the lift hill that runs this chain in a cycle. It just kind of keeps spinning this chain. The chain runs on a little trowel in the middle of the track, kind of like the red strand on ratchet people's hair. Along the lift hill track, there are sensors that uh, detect where the train is at all times. And sometimes there's sensor malfunctions. That's when you get the train that will stop. And just in case something's not, not going right with the train or the chain, the electric motor, maybe, maybe like the next train is not on its block yet. It can have some sort of malfunction, so it will stop the train. At Kings Island, my home park, um, there's this ride called Adventure Express and like at the tunnel park like they have these little figures that do this it's so cool but like what happens is like every single time now like you stop in this tunnel <laughs> like I don't know what's going on with the sensor I don't know if they're just being slow to um, dispatch people out the station but it's just so awkward it's entertaining at first, but after so many years of seeing these statues doing this, it's just like, <sighs> you again. This is another ride called the Flight Deck. It's a terrible name. It used to be called the Top Gun, which is much more appropriate when it was Paramount. The chain lifts has this sound. It kind of sounds like a beaver gnawing. <laughs> at this part on the lift, it just always slows down, and like everybody's like, what's going on? Is it messing up? And then. Like, it sounds kind of like a, like the fat person in a marching band is trying to catch up. It's kind of like this echo drum beat. A little bit delayed, just a little bit. When you're going up the hill, the train is collecting potential energy. Kind of like what I have when I don't pay the electric bill. And so that when it's released at the top, all that potential energy is released into kinetic. And so that's where you have such a thrill when you're going down the hill. There's this thing called inertia that's kind of pushing you in the back of your seat. Your neck just gives in and you're just like, kind of like your head's in the back from the headrest and you're kind of like momentarily Bernie Sanders. It's also a great part because you get to see the view of the park where you try to pick your head out, kind of like a turtle. And some rides, like I remember the Son of Beast, uh, it used to have like a terrible jerk when it started up the hill. It's just like, ugh. Uh, and like it's kind of bad that your the train was so small that your chin was resting on your kneecaps it keeps pushing you up I like a little kid kicking the back of your seat on that airplane unless it's money I don't want nothing slapping me on the back I mean yeah you, you got to do what you got to do if the chains moving at the same rate as, as the train what's causing the click so like every time people think about roller coasters and going up the hill they think of the clicks Mainly because, you know, you're stuck with the over-analytical nerds because the cool people ditch you at the bathroom break. But this click because there's an anti-rollback system. It's kind of like a scissored shape. The chain dog is rising. It hits this anti-rollback system. The chain motor, where to stop. Then the chain dog would rest on that last tooth of that anti-rollback system. Ooh. Don't drink coffee, guys. It's, it's not good for you. Sometimes they apply different plastic um, covers or caps on top of the anti-rollback scissor shape system 
in order to kind of silence it. They're called silencers. Perhaps teachers need to start doing that as a policy to silence their children that won't shut up during class. Just, you know, just put a plastic cap over their mouth. I mean, it works better than a... I'll wait. Let's play the quiet game, everyone. If you hear my voice clap once, if you hear my voice clap twice, shut the fuck up. Those methods don't work. Yeah, that's really the, the ins and outs, or I should say the ups and downs of chain lifts. So um, I, don't know, I don't know what else to say, but the next time you go to a park, remember you know how to lift. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you thought I was Cyclone Steve, please hit subscribe. And um, I'll come up with a new video next week.